So obviously you're reviewing the different foods at the same time. And then the student that has one that is that nobody else has gets a point. Okay, and so then they win when they have the most points. So in order to modify it, does that make sense? Is there any questions? Are there any questions, I should say? Okay, so let's talk about the modification. Um, we can use it to practice collocate, collocations or grammar points. So for example, gerunds and infinitives. Um, they can create their own categories based on what you've done in class. Um, you have a time limit. I set you a time limit, right? Because you're teachers. <laughs> But for students, you may have a longer time limit or a shorter time limit depending on how quickly you want to get through and how um, advanced they are. Um, okay, so we did this already. And allow students, you can sometimes, especially at the beginning levels, allow them to write more than one thing in the category. And obviously the reason for that is it will be more stimulating for them if they're at potentially like a, a less advanced level to be able to have more so that it's possible that they can get more points. You know, because they may not be able to fill out all the categories, but if they're really good at colors, they would have several in the colors and they would get points for several colors. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example of um, a modification. And we're going to do just uh, a